What's up, pack members? It's your leader, Spirit Elf here, and welcome to another video. So, I know, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, and, yeah, it's been like two months. My last video I made was my Ultimate Wolf Experience, and just three videos ago, I made a video called I'm Still Here, an update, which French, I explained everything that was going on, where I mentioned my video camera broke and I got a new one. So, yeah, and since then, I've only made two videos. I've made my Lego Voltron review, and then my Ultimate Wolf Experience video, like I mentioned. But it's been over two months since I uploaded that Ultimate Wolf Experience video. So, yep, there's a couple things I want to explain. And I'm going to go and get the negative stuff out of the way first, and then I'll move on to the positive stuff. So here's the negative side. The negative side was this. While I do have a new video camera, it pretty much is a piece of junk. Like, obviously I filmed the Voltron Lego review on that camera, and then I filmed my Ultimate Wolf Experience video on that camera. But I've tried to film other things with it, such as like other Lego tour reviews of actual minifigures, and then video game videos. Well... It's safe to say that did not work out, because I actually practice films with them, or test films, and starting with the Lego reviews, the, ga the camera's, like, quality capture is pretty bad. It does not want to focus on, like, minifigures, so whenever I tried to look at, like, a minifigure, like, detail or whatever, like, the face specifically, the camera did not want to focus on the little details, so it pretty much looked like a blur, more or less, like a blurry face, and obviously I'm not going to film doing with that, so that's something, and so on, so on, like, I imagine, like, if it wouldn't capture, like, little details like that, then I didn't want to do the entire review, because obviously, y'all know, because you've seen me do my other Lego reviews where I showed off me figures and whatnot, you know that I can cap, you know that, that my old camera can capture details, so I'm not going to bring down the quality of my videos just because of a new camera that's being crappy. So that's one reason. And then the other reason, going to the video game side, pretty much that camera would just not work well for video game videos. Because two things, for once again, going back to quality, like it almost made the game look not really blurry, but too bright, where it did almost blur out the game images, and obviously I'm not going to have that. And then the second one was about the audio. Like, the audio capture was terrible. Like, you can barely hear the video game audio and stuff like that. So, yep, and obviously, again, I care a lot about the quality of my videos, so I'm not just going to just like, yeah, let's film like that, I don't care. I care about my videos, and I care about the quality of them, so I'm not just going to let myself like go down in quality just because my new camera is being crappy. So, yep, I'm definitely not going to be filming videos with that camera anymore. So, with the negative stuff out of the way, that's all the negative stuff. Now I'm going to move on to the positive side of things. So, the positive side is, while that video camera is a piece of junk and I'm not going to film using it anymore, I actually do have good news. Obviously, I mentioned my old camera broke. Well, it turns out the problem was actually not the camera itself. It was more like the battery charging port, you know, where you'd plug in the charger to charge the camera. That's the part that was defective, and it just would not charge with power or whatever. So, yeah, that was a problem. But I actually just got an external like charger for the battery itself so I can remove the battery put it on the external charger and you know charge it like that and I've already tested it on my camera to see if it works and lucky me it actually does make my camera work again so that's the positive side so again I don't know when I'm gonna start making videos again but you can bet I'm going to start having more videos out because let's face it Spirit the Alpha has been taking a break too many long. I can't, or for too long, and I cannot keep, like, saying, like, 
not having motivation to make videos because of my crappy quality or bad audio or whatever. So, yep, you here's some things that you can expect to see from me in the future. You can expect to see video game videos again because I have a couple video games where I can do like character showcases and whatnot. Then there's also the, let's see, well, obviously I have a bunch of Lego sets like I got for Christmas and whatnot that I can show off like reviews for if I want to and yeah <laughs> yeah fine Christmas was months ago <laughs> but you know I still have a lot of stuff I can review and then there's also well I think those are the only two things that I can really mention because I can't think of anything else I can really do at the moment but you know maybe if I find something interesting maybe I'll make a video about that but whatever the case, I think I just about wrapped up this video. So again, I'm going to try to think of more video ideas and utilize my old camera, which is you know now back in like function again or back in action again. So yep, it's, you can expect to see more Spirit the Alpha videos soon. So until next time, this is Spirit the Alpha signing out. I'll see you guys back in the pack.